All right, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the honest of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And today's lesson is going to go into how those that vote are going to be the ones that take the chip. All right. And we know, you know, even some of the ones that we love. You know, I went in a vote yesterday, just to be honest. And seeing the things that's going down, you know, seeing the things that's happening in this world, it's obvious that voting has never helped you people, you jigs. Okay? Because, you know, someone was telling me yesterday how, you know, if you, he was asking me, did I vote? I said, nah, I don't vote. And he was saying how, if you don't vote, don't complain when shit happens, basically, in a nutshell, you know. And um, this person I've spoken to him before, they know I'm in the truth. They know, you know, my stance on this society. But, um, I'm forgetting my train of thought already. But, um, oh, and then he, the person replied of how... What'd they say? They said our people marched and died for the chance to vote. You know, which is an error in itself. You know, because the scriptures say, uh, what I, well, really, our people did that for what? Integration. But the scriptures say we have been separated from the womb when you go into Genesis 25. Now, we, meaning the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the so called white men. This is why, from day one, it's been nothing but turmoil. It's been nothing but fighting. You know, it's been nothing but uneasiness. You know, when our when our people try to integrate with them. Okay, even when you go back in the time, I want to say Deuteronomy the second chapter. Um, when you know we had to pass through Edom. You know, to get to the promised land, I want I believe. And, um, you know, we was cordial with them. We said, you know, we told them we won't make any trouble. We'll pay you. And they still wouldn't let us through. You know, so. Um, integration is not an option. Actually, let me just grab it. What is the Lord saying in himself? Deuteronomy 2 and 1, then we returned, then returned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As Yahweh spake unto me, and we can pass Mount Seir many days. And Yahweh spake unto me, saying, Ye have can pass this mountain long enough, turn you northward. And ye commanded, and command thou the people, saying, Ye are to pass through the coast of the brethren, of your brethren, the children of Esau, the so called white men today. Which the wealth and seer, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourselves, therefore. Meddle not with them, for I will not give you of their land, no, not so much as a foot breath, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. Now, through the Spirit, this is their land as well, America. The Lord is telling us not to meddle with their land, this is their possession. Okay, which is going to be destroyed. Ye shall buy meat of them for money that ye may eat. And ye shall also buy water of them for money that ye may drink. Okay, so it's okay to do business with them, but not to be mingled with this place. For Yahweh thy power have blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. These forty years, Yahweh thy power have been with thee, thou hast lacked nothing. And we passed by from our brethren, the children of Esau, which the wealth and seer through the way of the plain from Alaf and from Ezion Gaber, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. Okay, so that was pretty much the point, man. The Most High said, don't mingle with these people. Okay, because this place is going to be destroyed. And anybody caught up 
with this place is going to be destroyed. As the scriptures say in Proverbs 16, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Okay? And that person who's joined in hand with them, what? He's going to pull you down with him. Okay? That's like what? If you around drug dealers, eventually you're going to go to jail, you know, or you're going to lead down that path because that's what you see. You know, even, um, you know, like uh, uh, the scriptures say to always be around godly men. All right. Who 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 basically know how to encourage you to do right. But if you were around the wicked, guess what? You would be encouraged to do wrong. OK. Um, uh, King David, he said, draw me not right here in Psalms 28 and three. It says, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity. Which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their heart. You know, because today, you know, as a business aspect, you know, this devil Donald Trump got the platinum plan. You got Jim Crow, Dro Jim Crow Joe saying, if you don't vote for me, then you're not black. Okay? They speak peace to you, but really, they want to put you to death. Okay? From the womb, man. From the womb. And when we go into Genesis 27, Esau was pissed off that Isaac got the better blessing, you know? And even though it was technically, you know, even though it was business, as far as him selling him the birthright, this devil wouldn't give a damn, you know? So we, walking in the spirit, have to know the boundaries of this place, man. You know, you do business, you do what you got to do, and you get out, okay? Because this devil... All right, it's going to take you out, himself out, and his planet if he continues to rule. Okay? This is the book of um Proverbs chapter 15, verse 6. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. Okay? What's the revenues of the wicked? Great war. Okay? As a matter of fact, this devil, he taxes the shit out of people just to what? Gear up his arsenal to continue to go to war. You know, he can't put that sword down for a second. Okay, the scriptures say his blessing is the sword. And we this is these are key examples of how we see who the so-called white man is today. Okay. The scriptures say Jacob, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, meaning the end of this rulership. What comes after, you know, a nuclear war? Desolation. Okay. And that's what's going to come to this place. Desolation. All right. America the Great. In many parts of this world. Okay. But Jacob is the ending of it that followeth. So it says, but the revenues of the wicked is trouble. So here it is. You're joining hand in hand with this place. Meanwhile, you're seeing that it's never been good for you. All right. Our people are seeing that this place has never been good for them. You know, one day you're <laughs> one day you're pissed off calling this Trump, you know, and his system, you know, fucked up for seeing what they do to your people as far as locking you up and, you know, choking you on in plain sight and getting away with it. Next day you're voting for this person. Okay. So our people have nothing but trouble coming to them. All right. This is um the book of Malachi. Chapter one. Verse one. The burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yahweh? Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. Okay, so here it is. You're trying to see some, some, some uh, form of decency in this in this devil, but the Most High said he hated him. All right, and why does he hate him? Let's go to Psalm chapter five, verse five. Thou hate thou, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak, leasing Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. 
All right, you can go to Isaiah 10. You can go to Isaiah 34. You can go to Isaiah 63. Go to Revelation 18 to see how the Lord, um, what the Lord is going to do to this bloody and deceitful man. Now, I want to go to, let's see, let's go to Psalms. Let's get that in the, um, my sword to see what the word iniquity means. So it says, the man of trouble, of wickedness, okay, of sorrow, trouble of iniquity, of wickedness, okay, strictly nothingness, going to the Strong's definitions on the bottom here, it says vanity, wickedness, affliction, evil, false, idol, iniquity, mischief, mourners, okay, Proverbs 29 and 2. Proves that this place is this man is the um is the wicked. When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. People are losing it, you know. Here it is. For example, you have people that go out to war for this devil. Alright. But these are the main ones that what come back effed up, you know, homeless. Okay, people are what? In debt like crazy. This is the only place. I'm well, I don't know if this is the only place, but I know many other places in the world don't charge you for health care and for, um, you know, to go to school. So this is, this is, this place is ran by the workers of iniquity. Okay. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing, Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful men. But as for me... I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Because little do people know the Most High has put us here to see that there's no other way. Okay. He put us, He put you here, as scriptures say, he put curses upon you. And which one of those curses would be, um, let me just grab it. Um, let's see, uh. Deuteronomy 28 and 32, the body of Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai. It says, um, Deuteronomy 28 and 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. All right, cargo slave ships. And thy eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hands. Okay, but the Lord is coming back to give us might, man. He started off by giving us a hey, the strongest might, which is a strong mind. Okay, and then eventually he's going to come back and give us physical might, as it says in Isaiah 40 and um, 29. All right, you wait on Esau, you get hurt. You wait on the Heavenly Father, you get, uh, uh, okay, you get help. Deuteronomy 28 and 65, and among these nations, Thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee a trembling heart and feeling of eyes and sorrow of mind. Okay, so it's better to a hey, vote for Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so it says back at Psalms 5 and 7, But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Yahweh, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. Okay. Then King David, he's seen the bullshit. He's seen the wickedness of these uh of these heathens. Then he threw a curse up on him, man. All right. He goes into how, I'm not going to read it, but you see right here in verse 9, it says they flatter with their tongue. Okay. So back in Malachi 1 and 4, it says, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Yeah, you know, things are messed up right now, but we got these stimulus packages. We got these laws 
that's going to look, you know, we're going to finally look out for you, for you, um, you, uh, poor and tried. So that, you know, this is what they would say. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. You know? And, um, hey, it's almost like, um, when you watch shows like Power and shows like that, hey, when Esau comes down, he don't just come down on the kingdom, he trying to get everybody, man. You know, he trying to get everybody involved. He trying to get everybody that had a hand in that illegal business. So that's what the Lord is going to come, you know, when he finds, when he comes and judges this place. He's going to get all the workers of iniquity. Okay? All those that subscribe to this devil's wickedness. Okay? So I'm going to end it off with this. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. It says, um... I'll start at four, actually. Just lock it, one second. All right, this is Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. How was shy? And the governor shall be upon, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Okay, this is why every time we do a lesson, we go out there in the highways and hedges, we give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. See, the Most High is the one that's doing it, but he's sending the sun down. All right, because that's who he's dealing with. He's dealing with it. Us through his son. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his, go of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice. From henceforth, even forever. The zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this. Okay. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to come back. And he's the one that's going to bring peace. He's the one that's going to establish peace. Okay. Forever and unto forever. All right. Daniel's 9. No. What's that? I think, yeah. Daniel's 9 and 18. Yeah, man. So with that, Shalom.